गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट द सेंटेंस सिमिलैरिटी थ्री प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 1813 लेट्स लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग सेंटेंस 1 एंड सेंटेंस 2 ईच रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ सेंटेंस कंपोज्ड ऑफ वर्ड्स अ सेंटेंस इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट आर सेपरेटेड बाय अ सिंगल स्पेस विद नो लीडिंग और ट्रेलिंग स्पेसेस ईच वर्ड कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली अपर केस एंड लोअर केस इंग्लिश लेटर्स two sentences s1 and s2 are considered similar if it is possible to insert an arbitrary sentence and that uh, inserted sentence can be empty as well inside one of these sentences such that the two sentences become equal note that the inserted sentence must be separated from the existing words by spaces okay let's look at an example for better understanding in this case Let's say that our sentence one is my name is Tegdos and the sentence two is my Tegdos. Our goal is to find out can we insert a sentence in the smaller sentence to make it the same as the longer sentence. So for this to happen, first of all, all the words of S2 must occur in S1 and they have to match. Okay, so the my is matching in the beginning and Tegdos is matching in the ending. Now we can insert name is in between my and take those in string 2 to make it equal to string s1 right so we can always do insertion in the smaller string to make it equals to the larger string but the rest of the words which are present in the smaller string must always be already present in s1 right so this is the case of insertion in between in case if both the string s1 and s2 are exactly the same we need not insert anything and we will just return true okay now let's look at more examples let's say that our string s1 is my name is techdos and string s2 is techdos in this case the techdos is already present in the suffix and my name is needs to be inserted in the beginning of s2 so that s2 becomes s1 so it is possible to convert the smaller sentence to other larger sentence which is exactly the same right by inserting my name is in the beginning of s2 now let's look at another example S1 is my name and S2 is my name is Tegdos. Now in this case the S1 is smaller. Therefore my name is already present in the beginning. So there is a prefix match. So we need to do a suffix insert of is Tegdos at the end of S1 to make S1 equals to S2. Right. So these are the cases of prefix insert and suffix insert. We have already seen the case of insertion in the middle. Now Let's look at another example. Let's say that string S1 is my name is Tegdos and string S2 is name. So name is already present. That is fine. But my needs to be inserted in the beginning and is Tegdos needs to be inserted at the end. Now both the prefix and suffix inserts are not allowed because they will become two different sentences while only one sentence insertion is allowed. Right. That is why S2 cannot be converted to S1 and we will return no. Let's look at another example. In this case, S1 is my name is Surya and S2 is name is Tegdos. So name is already present. But then Surya and Tegdos are two different words and they are not matching. So there should not be any word in a smaller string which is not matching with the larger string. Okay, that should not happen. In such a scenario, we will say that we cannot make the smaller string equals to larger string by any insertion. Because in this case, it requires deletion of a word, right? So this is not possible. So what we have seen is three cases. The first case was insertion in between where let's say S1 is the larger sentence where first three words were the same as the first three words in S2 and the last two words were the same as the last two words in S2 where S2 had actually five words. So all the words were matching. So we can insert the rest of the six words in the middle just at the uh, partition point so that S2 can get converted to S1. Similarly, we can see this prefix insert case. In this case, string S2 here has three words and this is matching with string S1's last three words. And so the two words in the beginning can be inserted in S2 to make it equals to S1. Let's look at the third case, which is suffix insert case. If S1 has, let's say, eight words, the first five words is, let's assume, matching with the first five words of S2 and S2 had exactly five words. Then I can insert the last three words at the end of S2 to make S2 equals to S1. So these are the only three cases which can happen for this problem. Rest all cases should uh, return a no. So the idea is all the words of smaller sentence must already be present in the larger sentence and that should be in order as well. 
we need to find all the prefix matches we need to find all the suffix matches and then insert the rest of the words into the smaller sentence so let's look at the dry run if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number we can easily do this by the two pointer approach we can take the string s1 let's say it is i watch take those videos to learn string s2 is i watch learn now you can break down string s1 in the form of words i watch take those videos to learn so we have six words you can convert s2 into word list as well i watch learn right once you have done that then you can apply the two pointer approach on top of it how to do that we have to find out what was the maximum prefix match and what was the maximum suffix match if you look at this diagram i think you will be able to make out what we are trying to do so we will take a left pointer let's say here and uh, we will take another pointer here so as long as these words are matching i will keep on incrementing the left okay i will keep on incrementing the left now you see that the left here is equals to learn this learn is not equals to take those so we have done all the prefix matches now let's do the suffix matches our suffix match pointer will start at the end that is learn okay and we will have an end pointer here so learn is equals to learn and then end point decrease and this will also decrease you see this two is not matching watch so this will end right so you see that the low or the left is actually to the right of end and if that happens that means everything that is present is in order and the prefix and suffix are overlapping right that means all the words which are present in s2 are actually present in s1 if you overlap the prefix matches and suffix matches then where was this l the l was pointing to the first mismatch and the end was pointing to the first mismatch for the suffix okay so if this l is greater than end that means this mismatch uh, portion is not present and so we will say that s2 can get converted to s1 right so that is the only condition if l is greater than r then we need to return true otherwise you return false so what we did in this step is we needed to convert the given string into the word list which is order of n and then we applied the two pointer one from the left and one from the right and tried to find out how many left matches are there how many right matches are there and are all the words of words two already present in words one if you take the prefix and suffix match they should overlap there should be no word which is not matching right so that is what we are finding we have taken uh, the space of order of n therefore the time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity will also be order of n let's now look at the code i have written a helper function where if you pass the string and an empty word list then it will fill this empty word list by breaking down the string in the words like if you have i love tech dose as uh, one of the sentences in string then the words it will initially come as empty but at the end it will have input as i love take those so that will be the content of words once we are done with this uh, entire find words function so that is my helper function you can just go through it it is easy to understand now in our main function we are getting both the string s1 s2 and we will get the word list of for both the string s1 and s2 then we will make sure that words 1 contains the less number of words so that i am always sure that words 1 needs to be converted to words 2 all right now i am taking a left pointer and i am just finding out how many prefix matches are there and then i'm taking a right pointer and i'm finding out how many uh, suffix matches are there and then if the prefix match plus suffix match is equals to the word length that means words one dot size then we will return true otherwise we will return false so this is the entire idea i hope you are able to understand it if you still have any doubt then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you